Getting started with Ghost Lab is pretty easy. You have a few options here. The first option is to add a URL from a live site, any site, into Ghost Lab. The next option is to add it manually, whether it be a file or a URL. And the other option is to add the project file. This file contains an index.html. What happens is GhostLab looks for this file and renders the site out. If you're using PHP or some something similar, then you have to start your local development environment with example month and then drag the URL that that provides you into GhostLab. So let's start the GhostLab test page. So push the play button and then push the launch button. Now you have Chrome, my default browser, connected to GhostLab. I want to view this site in Firefox, so I can click this browser icon and it gives me a list of all installed browsers on this computer. Let's open it up in Firefox. Now we have two different browsers connected to GhostLab. You can see them in the device list here. If you wish to connect a device to GhostLab to test the device, you can use the QR code if you have a QR code reader installed on your mobile device already. It's quite quick once it's installed, but not necessary. Or you can add the URL directly in. Here's the URL you can add. You can bookmark this too, so you can come back later. Another option is to use the workspace features. I'll cover this in a different video, but what you can do is open a workspace, a predefined workspace. At the moment, I've got, this is default settings. We've got three different viewport sizes, the small, medium, and large. Let's open it up. You want to def disable pop-ups for GhostLab for this to work. You get prompted once. There you have it. Let's close these. And it's that easy to get started with GhostLab.